Hey y'all, so it's time for my last update for my makeup basket slash project pan that I have been working on since the beginning of 2018. I have one more month left, one more video to film. This is the last update, but I will have a finale at the end of October, beginning of November. So yes, I have one more month to finish up everything I possibly can before I move. I, my flight is November 9th, so I could get a few more days out of it over the month, um, but I just don't see that happening. I need to be focusing on packing and like my last minute to do's. I'm probably not going to be wearing that much makeup while I'm trying to pack my life up. So I'm just going to call it quits, film all of my year end videos right at the beginning of November and it'll be done for. Anyway, so I have mixed emotions going into this last month. I'm excited. I'm excited to finish the finale. I'm excited to finish up what products I can, um, but also a little bit, a little bit defeated there. Uh, I wish that I would have been maybe a little bit more dedicated from the beginning of the year because I think I could have made a lot more progress, especially on like my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. So, but it is what it is. I didn't know that I'd be moving back in January or I would have like put more heart into it or something like that. Um, but that, that's life, life changes. So anyways, I will show you the progress that I've made over this last month. I finished up three items. Like I said, I wish and I thought that I was going to get a little bit further. There's a couple of products that are just like right there that I will finish up in this coming month. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd make a little bit more progress than I did this month, but it is what it is. All right, so let's start with the three items that I was able to finish up this last month. And the first one was the eye primer that I was working on. I did not expect it to go this fast, honestly. Uh, the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Like I said, I did not anticipate this product to be gone this quickly. My experience with eyeshadow primers is that they take like a year to use up. This one took maybe about six months. But hopefully, as you can see in there, I popped the stopper out. I scraped every last bit out of it that I could. I really enjoy this product, and it is super cheap. Definitely something that I would repurchase in the future. And my next product, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, I knew I was going to finish up not long after my last update. If you can see there on the sides, that's where I started. Update, last update, and done. And then the final product that I used up was my perfume of the month, which as usual, I can blow through pretty fast. Uh, last month, I was working on the Victoria's Secret Body Mist and Sexy Angel, and my markings rubbed off. I think I was right about there when I started. And with this one, to be honest with you, I used it as a room spray, as a bathroom spray. I sprayed it like in my closet and stuff to like freshen up my clothes. I was not trying to cherish it or hold on to it for any reason. Um, it's just a a body mist. I wanted to use it up. <laughs> All right, so those were the three products that I did manage to use up. Now let's get into the ones that I made progress on. So let's start with the Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer in the shade Stone. Now I am getting close with this product and I do have high hopes that I will finish it within the next month. Um, there's a part of me that's not quite so sure. I'm getting to the point where it's getting close where I think I might need to pop the stopper. I have to swirl around to get my applicator coated in product. And I'm starting to see gaps in the tube and everything like that. But um, it does also still seem to be going strong. Anyway, so I am holding out hope. I do believe it's going to be gone. And regardless, it's it's literally going to be gone whether there's product in it or not because it's so low I can't give it to anyone. Um, so it's either going to be used up or it's going to have to be trashed when I move, when I do my declutter before I move. But hopefully I will get all my money's worth out of it before I do. The next product is my Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Pink Haze. And it is very, very pink, and that's really limited what I can do with this product. Anyway, though, I do quite like it as an under eye setting powder. Unfortunately, that doesn't take a lot of product up, so I have not been able to make much progress in this. So if you can see there, I did mark it, my beginning mark, and where I am right now. You know, I mean, I guess that's decent progress for a month. It's just like when you only have two months to use something up, not that great. So it's pretty obvious to me right now that it's just not going to happen. And so to be honest with you, I've just um, not been using it that much. I've been using one of my other under eye setting powders. You know, if I'm not going to use it up by then, if I know I'm going to need to declutter it, what's the point? Might as well leave as much product as possible for someone else to get use out of. 
Let's talk about my cream blushes, the Glossier Cloud Paints in Puff and Dusk. Now, I did not put these in here because I knew I was going to use them up. There was not a snowball's chance in hell of that happening. But I had been neglecting them because they're cream products and it's easier to reach for powder products. And so I wanted to break them out, get some use in on them, and see how I felt about them still. And um, turns out I do still really, really like them. I do. They're such good products. They're like the only cream blushes I, I love like I've ever liked. Anyway, so this experiment didn't really help me. I was kind of hoping it would give me a reason to declutter and simplify even more, less things to move, but I fell in love with them again. I still really like them, and I think they'd be great products for really simple makeup when I am in Hawaii. Um, they're very multi-use products. You can use them on the eyes, of course the cheeks, on the lips they're beautiful. They mix together beautifully and form like the perfect rosy pink. Anyway, so I'm still attached to them. I'm still probably gonna keep them. And if there's room in my luggage, I'll probably be taking them to Hawaii. But um, yeah, kind of officially out of the project because again, I'm not gonna use them up in the next month. All right, this next one I did think I was gonna be able to use up before this update, but it will be gone very, very soon. It's a micro brow pencil. They tend to go very quickly. But actually, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with this one lasting this long. Anyway, so it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil in Rich Brown, which has been like my holy grail brow pencil. Um, it matches my brows so incredibly well. So if you can see there, I only have the tiniest little bit of product left. Um, it's not gonna last much longer. It will be gone by the finale, but to be honest with you, I'm surprised it wasn't gone already. And then we have one more pencil product that is getting quite teeny tiny. This was a mini size to begin with, um, but a Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in the shade Perversion, so their blackest black liner. As you can see, it's getting very, very small, but it is still going strong. In fact, I'm I'm really impressed that it's lasted this long. I know there's not much left because I've used these pencils up before and there is like a wax base in there to hold the pencil in and I know it starts here soon. So again, that's one of those products that I think is probably going to be gone by the end of next month, but I'm not positive. And even if I don't finish it up, it's going to go in my empties. It's going to be done because there's no sense in me traveling with a little nubbin of a pencil when I have a brand new black eyeliner ready to go. Next we have my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Highlighter. Again, as always, I'm only working on the highlighter side. And I have made some really great progress, but I still, again, don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it up in a little over a month. Anyway, so if you can see here, I have cleaned out like this whole corner down here and this whole edge, working on pretty much using up this corner now too. So not a lot of product left, but you know, it's still hanging in there. All right, and then finally, we have my ABH Modern Renaissance palette, which I am so proud of. I have made so much progress on in this last month. So this is where I am now. And as you can see, I have used up all six of these pans. Now I had used up four pans prior to this month, so I did only use up two in the last few weeks, um, but regardless, I'm still pretty proud. Um, I used up raw sienna and burnt orange this last month. Anyway, so I do have six pans gone now, and I've made some great progress on other shades. As you can see, um, Antique Bronze is getting very, very close. Although something has happened with that shade, and this palette is two years old, so maybe it's just past its prime, but it's losing its luster, um, metaphorically speaking and literally speaking as well. It just doesn't have that like spark and that like specialness that it used to have. That used to be one of my favorite shades and I am wearing it today, um, although I really had to build it up. It used to just be the perfect one shadow look and it had dimension. It was this bronzy reddish color, is so unique. And um, I don't know, I put it on the eyes now and it just looks brown. It just looks like dull brown. So again, I think it is kind of losing its luster, which is really unfortunate. I know, again, if I had been more dedicated to it, I could have used it up while it was still really great. And I believe last month I did not have pan on Love Letter and Venetian Red, which I do now. I have fallen in love with Venetian Red. That is the most beautiful cranberry shade I have ever laid eyes on. Again, 
another reason why I'm really disappointed in myself for not like digging into this palette more. But like I said, I am proud of the progress that I made. I'm just kind of disappointed in myself that, I, you know, there were a few months at the beginning of the year that I didn't touch it at all or barely touched it. And I know that, I mean, I could have easily used this up if I would have just been more dedicated. All right, so those are all of the products that I have made progress on. Essentially, all of them are going to roll over, really except for the um, Glossier Cloud Paints and my Becca powder. Um, like I said, I'm still going to use it, but I know it's not going to be used up in a month, so kind of what's the point? I'm going to use whatever powder I want from here on out. But the rest of them will roll over. Hopefully, I can use up um, quite a few more products. And I am going to add two more in. The first one is another foundation. Since I used up my uh, Wet n Wild ones, I've been working on this e.l.f. one. And this is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation in the shade Porcelain. You can see I do have a mark here, but that is actually an upside down mark. So I only have that much left in it. So maybe about a quarter. And I did mark this a couple of days ago, and I've used it every day since. So it probably would be a little bit lower. So I do actually have high hopes that I'm going to finish this or at least use up the vast majority of it, uh, which would make me really happy and get one more foundation out before the end of the year. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's what I have on today. Great coverage, feels great on the skin, blends well. It's just a great foundation. Um, but I've had these two e.l.f. ones for a while and they're cheap. And if I want them in the future, I can easily repurchase them. So I would like to use this one up. And then finally, we are adding in a new perfume of the month. It is my bulkiest perfume. That's one of the reasons I chose it. And again, one of the few, I think I have like four perfumes left now that are not cruelty free. This is my last Juicy Couture fragrance. So this is the one that I chose. It's also a wintry fragrance in my opinion. So I figured this would be a good time of the year to use it. This is Viva La Juicy Sucre. And so it is a Viva La Juicy base and then it's warmer and not necessarily sweeter, but um, kind of has like a burnt brown sugar, vanilla sugary scent, of course, Sucre, you know, duh. But it is very Viva La Juicy, very sweet. I do like it, but it is wintry and um, and very bulky. I can't travel with it. So I think I have a, I think I have a shot of actually using this up. As you can see, hopefully, um, I'm about halfway done with it, maybe just a little bit over halfway. All right, y'all, well, that is everything that I'm working on and have been working on. Kind of a quick update. I just don't have that much to add. Usually I was adding in like five new products every single month, but there's just no point to it anymore. Um, it's really blowing my mind. It's getting very, very close. Anyway, I hope y'all have had a lovely start to your day. I will see y'all in a couple of days in my next one. Love y'all. Bye.